am Trina, and today we're reviewing one of my favorite brands. This is a 2017 Lexus LX570. We're gonna dive into just why this is one of the most reliable SUVs on the market. of our stunning Lexus LX. They have these massive grills. So this is a 2017. I wanna say it was around the 2014 era that they introduced this massive grill on all of their cars. I myself, I have a 16 IS with the sport grill. It wasn't accepted by some of the clientele, but it really did bring them into a new market. This car, or this SUV, I should say, is timeless. So this is gonna look perfect on the road in 20 years. It's gonna drive like it does today in 20 years because it is a Lexus. So in the front, again, we have this massive front end with the Lexus emblem. We do have a nice chrome throughout. So this is our eminent white pearl. That's what our color is today. We have our driving sensors and we have, of course, some LED fog lights, which I think is super important, especially in SUVs of this size. We have our signature LED headlight. So once more, you'll hear me talk in segments. You always know when certain cars are behind you. Lexus is your entry level luxury brand. However, um, they have really stayed true to their design. So you'll always know there's a Lexus behind you by that daytime running light. We have our three LED headlights. This is also gonna have adaptive lighting. We're gonna have all of Lexus safety system plus in this vehicle. We'll dive into that a little more, but we are gonna have our radar cruise, our pre-collision, our lane keep assist. This one does also have your 3M on the lip here to prevent any kind of stone chips damaging the car. Our LX570 comes equipped with 21 inch rims. We have a nice 10 spoke chrome rim here. We were just discussing, you know, it does have quite a big brake caliper back there, but it really just looks like a big piece of cement or metal. So uh, if you're gonna drive something like this, spend a little bit of extra money and maybe make it pop with like a red caliper that would just complement this SUV that much more. And being that it's a Lexus, you really can own it for like 30 years. So you might as well make it look fresh the whole time. With our LX570, it is, it is quite large. So again, I'm wearing heels and um, I'm just able to touch. So you do have some roof racks that this owner would have put on aftermarket and the rain guards here. I actually used to have these on my Lexus because some water would trickle in, but then a friend of mine said it reminded them how smokers have it on their cars, nothing against smokers, but I couldn't get it out of my head. And I took mine off. However, they do serve a purpose for sure. It's gonna stop any rain and let some fresh air in the car. So we have our side mirrors. That is gonna have the blind spot monitoring system. We have our back windows to tint. We have our nice step, because again, this is quite a large full-size seven-seater SUV. And then our back tires with the 10-spoke rims once more. We do have a nice little spoiler up here. Another thing with the Lexus back LED lights, I do like how they kind of wrap around. We have a little bit of a chrome finish and some more chrome. Chrome on cars, you're gonna hear me say this all the time. It can work and not work. For the, I'd say 90% of the time it works. And for this car, it absolutely does. We're gonna demonstrate for you guys as well. There is quite a bit of space in here and there's power folding back seats, which we'll demonstrate as well in just a moment. And once more, you're gonna have more parking sensors. There is towing capacity with the LX570 and you'll have a max of 7,000 pounds. With the Lexus LX570, clearly it is our full-size SUV. I have a lot of history with this brand and it's not to say I haven't had lunch on the back like this before. I actually had some clients that would go on long road trips with their LX and really just do what I'm doing right now, is just take a breather, have their lunch. But we are gonna demonstrate, they're up right now, but there are two power folding back seats here. Again, this is a seven-seater SUV. So we're gonna showcase what those look like down. The functionality for the back seats is quite simple. So once you have the back uh, hatch open, I'm just gonna press it, hold it down. If you stop, they will stop midway. So just keep it held down. So there you go. So once more, I don't know why you'd ever do this, but you can just leave them like that and still have some storage. With our back tailgate, the bottom half is gonna be manual. So simply click it up. This is how we opened it. Once more, it's a luxury SUV. So if you press that, it's all power. Under the hood of our Lexus LX570, we have a 5.7 liter V8 pumping out an impressive 383 horsepower. It is gonna go zero to 60 in 7.3 seconds. Now once more, this really is a family SUV. I did sell many of these in my sales career and really it's just absolute comfort, 100% reliability, and of course a bit of power under the hood. It is going to have an all-wheel drive, but it's active all-wheel drive, meaning it's a four by four and it does take premium fuel, so it's not gonna be all that forgiving on gas, but once more, you're not gonna buy anything of this size and expect fuel savings. A couple other things to point out at the front, we do have the washers here for our headlights, so if they get dirty, you can just clean them up. 
It is, again, we're gonna talk about this one again, it's a very big SUV, but you do have some aerodynamics to it. So you can see throughout the hood here, I know it's white, it might be a little washed out with the lighting, but it does have some nice curvature to it. And once more, it's just gonna flow right over the vehicle. I've driven these, they're fantastic. If anybody's ever driven an ES350 with Lexus, it is really just a luxury sedan. This feels very similar, and I always used to tell my clients, the steering wheel feels like butter. So even though it's a massive SUV, it's gonna drive like a luxury sedan, and it handles beautifully. Now that we're in the front seat of our LX570, this client, they spec'd it out to have this, this is real wood, this real wood accent throughout. It's also on the steering wheel. We have leather all throughout the vehicle. Once more, these are heated and cooled seats. What I like about Lexus is a lot of, a lot of brands now, even like your standard cars, they're burying, again, they have to do what they have to do, but they're putting a lot of your comfort settings within the infotainment system, which is fine. However, you know, distracted driving and such. So I do like that, for instance, our heated steering wheel is literally right here with our heated and cooled seats. Uh, once more, this is technically like a truck. You have your four by four driving. So you do have things like your hill climb. You can actually um, go into L4 or H4. Again, if you do want to tow anything with this vehicle, I don't know that I've ever seen anybody tow anything with an LX. Once more, it is really just your luxury SUV. However, the option is there for you. We have this massive infotainment screen. They do have the mouse. This is what this was called, still is called. I know newer models have the trackpad. I personally have this mouse in my Lexus and I do like it. It gives you a little bit of an indication that you're on the proper button by that sound that you hear here. You have two cup holders here. In here you do have a cooler and it's very cold in there. You have some water so you can put whatever you want in there. Once more it is a driver's car. It's driver center focus. You just have a traditional shift gear. It's not so a good thing with Lexus is you know they have like their LFA, their GSF, their RCF. They have performance vehicles and they always get it right when they do it but they're not trying to be anything other than a really good luxury car here. So there's, it's not overcomplicated. Once more, I'll talk about my sales career. I sold this car to a lot of older clientele and they got it. It wasn't overcomplicated. They knew how to use their windshield wipers. So it was really easy. If we look at our steering wheel once more. We have some of our safety features like our lane keep and our dynamic radar cruise control. We have a couple options for our instrument cluster here and our capabilities to take some phone calls. There's nothing more happening there. This has the Mark Levinson surround sound. So Mark Levinson partnered with Lexus many, many years ago, and each system is actually built for the car that it's in. So that's where you get that pristine sound. And it's a nice piano black. You got some aluminum dials. So once more, it's not overcomplicated. It really just is what it's supposed to be. And another thing with Lexus is you're always going to see that they have their analog clock, which I absolutely love. Uh, and a lot of people like awkwardly enough don't know how to read them. So it's kind of interesting, but I, I think it's very classy. In the front seat of our LX570, again, it's so inviting, it's so comfortable. All I see is hood here. So again, those kind of scoops that we were discussing over the hood, I see everything there. A lot of people with a bigger SUV, maybe they can't get their bearings right, but I, there's, it's all visibility. There's a massive window back there. There's not really any blind spots. The side mirrors, of course, are obviously larger to suit this vehicle size. Once more, I haven't been in one in a long time. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, so it's again, just your perfect SUV. It's going to cost you nothing in maintenance. It's gonna go forever. This one only has 30,000 kilometers. It's pretty much a demo. And uh, even though, you know, it's nothing high performance, but we are still gonna do a sound test. Uh, it does sound really nice when you start it up. It's again, it's a big kind of truck, but we're, uh, we're not gonna exclude it from our fun. We're gonna still rev it a little bit. In the back, and it's a little dark in here, but we're working with it. In the back of our LX570, there's no trim packages with the LX570. It is a one and done, so there's no tech package, no luxury, nothing. It is, you get all the features. So with that being said, you do get rear infotainment. Now this is a 2017, so keep in mind iPads and all that weren't as convenient as they are today, but it was quite nice. So if you have kids in the back or some guests, you know, it came with these cool little headphones. You know, they can just like zone out and do their own thing. So it is still accessible. You have your DVD player to put on whatever you're going to watch. Back here, it is quite cozy. Really, there is considerable leg room. Again, I'm wearing heels, so my knees are pushed up and I feel very comfortable in here. Another interesting fact about this is there's quad climate control, meaning they can have their own climates and we can have our own climates. And it's all right here at our fingertips. I also have heated and cooled back seats. And of course, the front are also heated and cooled. 
So if you're interested in adding one of the most reliable brands to your car collection, visit us at Toronto Auto Brokers. And if you've liked this video, please comment, like, and subscribe.